Bobby, again, kind of a follow up from our previous conversation. We identified that job seekers need to know their personal brand and then they have an online presence. So now they're at their interview, either Zoom or in person. So how can they tell, how can job seekers tell their story or their personal brand when being interviewed? Well, one of the things that really helps with interviews, of course, is storytelling. And usually what I do when I work with people is I say, look, you can put together a personal branding framework that's a very simple tool to help you understand and be clear on who, who you are, how you serve people, and then who's your target audience and what kind of pain points you're trying to fill up for them. And then the other thing you can do is you can have a, you can have a personal branding framework for every, uh, sorry, a storytelling framework for every story you tell in the interview. And there's certain ways to create a framework for your stories that are gonna be more compelling. Like a common one for interviews is the, you know, the situation action results Correct, yeah. kind, of, kind of framework. That's a great framework to have. I also like to, you know, talk about, you know, sharing personal stories, vulnerability, adding some data and statistics. Yes. And you can actually create, craft a story for every single question type that they might give you. So, you know, if you look at the standard question types of interviews, what are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? What are your, what are, tell us about a challenge. Yeah, about, yeah. For, for each of those things, you can create a story and give them the situ situation actual result, but also talk a bit about authentic things and vulnerability and talk mm -hmm. about data and statistics. And then talk about how you've changed the person and what kind of impact you, you will have on that organization. Yeah. And when you really work on those stories and use those frameworks for your brand and your storytelling, that's when you can really set yourself apart in an interviews. Yeah, those are great tips. I, uh, I, like, I always tell my, uh, my friends or whoever I'm working with, just bring authentic stories, uh, tell your story or bring numbers. It's also important. You know, we know about the star situation, action result, but you need to make it your own and not just be a robot answering the questions. Yeah, I think for the most part, if you want to you set yourself apart, you have to create humanity within what you're doing. You can't be a robot, you can't be a number. They, they want to meet you because they're taking the paper or the online presence and they want to see the real you. Yeah. And that's what's really important. That's what they want. That's correct. Again, thank you for those great tips, Bobby. Again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips, in terms of creating stories while interviewing, please leave comments below and tune in next time for my final question with Bobby.